What's up? How are you guys today? I'm gonna to show you how I layer my clothes in the winter. Uh, I will put everything here on my Amazon shop and as with everything, I try to do it as affordably as possible. And now you guys know when I'm complaining about sweating my guts out in the summer or in my warehouse, how many layers I was wearing because you know, I work in the freezer you know, for the meat business. So a lot of times it's zero degrees in there and you gotta know how to stay warm. So I never knew this as a kid, but uh, as I figured out the layering thing, there's really no weather that you can't prepare yourself for as long as you have enough layers. So we actually have six layers here. I'm wearing five right now, and you can even go more than this, starting with the basic t-shirt and underwear. I like white because you, know, you could tell when it gets dirty, but nothing special there. Second layer is our Wi-Fi shielding t-shirt and underwear. Sometimes I'll wear two of these, just depends on how I feel. In the summer, I will wear two of these because uh, it's the only Wi-Fi protection I will have during the day. So we have these available on wifi shielding.com as uh, one of the upcoming layers I'm gonna show you. But you know, with all the radiation in the environment, EMF, cell phones, whatever, I'm always wearing some protective clothing, at least two layers. And I like wearing the regular t-shirt and underwear under that because it keeps those kind of clean and you can just uh, wear them again. Uh, then we have a thermal layer. Uh, I just bought these new. Uh, I was using another brand previously. These aren't super warm, but it's still a layer. Uh, old school, people might know these as long johns. That's kind of what they still call them. Uh, this is one of the things that's gonna be on my Amazon shop as well as the, the first t-shirt and underwear, just another layer to keep things warm. And then our fourth layer is the full Wi-Fi shielding shirt and pants. You know, I, I like double layering the shielding clothing, especially after you wash it a lot. And like, I think this and that are over like a year old right now. So it loses a little bit of effectiveness. So when you wear two layers, it's completely effective. And this is, you know, this is pretty heavy duty. You know, it's not a light, it's not a light shirt. This is a little light, but you know, we already have four layers on here. So now we're basically fully protected from head to toe in silver fabric from the, the Wi-Fi EMF radiation. And it's also adding another layer of warmth. Then we have kind of first thing that can be used as an outer shell, which is a Hanes sweatshirt and sweatpants. Uh, these are a bit heavier than everything else we've seen so far and uh, the most affordable ones I found online. So nice comfortable it's you know it's what i'm wearing now on the outside i didn't put the extra layer on and then if it gets really cold or you're working and you're getting dirty uh, i just bought these i got some carhartt zip hoodie and carhartt pants uh, before this i would just wear like some old jeans and another like older sweatshirt that i didn't mind getting dirty but i like keeping Everything clean for the most part. Obviously, the t-shirt and the underwear, the white ones, they get dirty because they're touching my body. But then everything in between for the most part will stay pretty clean depending on what I'm wearing as the outer shell. So if I'm just wearing this, that's going to get dirty. I'm going to have to wash that more. And then if I'm really working, and this is kind of waterproof too, which I like. You know, It doesn't absorb water as easily as the other materials, especially the shirt. So this is you know a sixth outer layer if it gets really, really, really cold. Or as I said, I'm working and I'm outside most of the day. But you know, if I'm inside and it's like 60, 65, 70, like, I know that's still warm, but like I'll never be cold in this, even if I don't eat or anything. So this was probably the most expensive part of the outfit from just a normal clothing perspective. Obviously the, the Wi-Fi shielding clothing is expensive because it's made from silver. But I think that this new hoodie was like 60 or 70 and so were the pants. But you can also add additionally, you know, if it's like crazy, crazy blizzard or you need more waterproofing, you would put like a, a jacket on some type of parka on over it, which would be like a crazy seventh layer. And then you could also uh, get some like 
uh, kind of like suspender like winter pants that can go over the pants that would completely waterproof but that would be crazy under special circumstances for the most part this is going to keep you really really warm regardless of the weather is uh, and then the really important thing is to just make sure you have a nice solid breakfast that has plenty of saturated fat in it that'll keep you warm yeah guys so i'll put everything here on my amazon shop amazon.com slash shop slash frank tofano and there's also like a few other things like socks I haven't really figured out yet. Like I bought a few different wool thermal socks and I didn't really like any of them. Uh, and then the gloves, what you wanna get is some wool hand liners and then close fingered mittens. That's gonna be the warmest combination for your hands. So the wool hand liners like have fingers on them, probably like 15, 20 bucks. And then uh, you can get some deer skin mittens that have closed fingers that'll keep your hands really, really warm. Those can be a bit more expensive, around $40 or $50 for your hands. And out, outside of wearing like multiple layers of socks, uh, what I can actually show you is um, the boots that I have. Uh, I've always bought these used at a discount. These are Sorrel. Uh, these aren't actually the really warm ones. The warm ones are called Caribou. Uh, I think these might be um, somewhere in between, but they have like a really warm winter liner on the inside and I would wear these in the freezer and my feet would never get cold. These, these are like a lighter version of those, but the, the Sorrel Caribou boots are what you want on your feet because regardless of what socks you're wearing, those boots will keep you really warm. <laughs> I was watching that uh, that, that famous girl's uh, Yukutia channel and they had these... Um, Th those Soro boots are called caribou as like a name for the boot, but the people in that cold country where it gets to like, like Siberia where it's like negative seven, they actually wear boots made from caribou fur, but I think those are like super expensive. So I guess there's no need for extreme, extreme Arctic clothing where most people are living now, but uh, I'm sure that did exist if you wanted to spend a lot of money on it. And then for the hat and the headgear, uh, you guys have seen me wear that funny Russian hat. I can't remember what it's called uh, off the top of my head. But you can also get like earmuffs. You can get like balaclava that covers your whole face. You can get a scarf. It just depends on how cold it is and what you're doing. If you need to really cover your whole face or not. Like doing crazy stuff with like ski masks and goggles. It really, really depends. But hopefully this gives you guys some ideas and helps you figure out uh, how to stay warm in the colder weather. And I actually like doing this when I'm sleeping because uh, I can't really breathe if it's like too warm in the room or if it's too humid. So I like leaving the window open in the colder weather, which means like my room is super cold at night. So I'm cold, but I can like breathe okay. So I have to wear like a lot of layers when I'm sleeping, but that'll be it guys. Everything will be on amazon.com slash shop slash Frank Tefano and everything else will be on wifishealing.com. Let me know if uh, you guys have any tips, if there's anything you like uh, especially like from an affordable perspective on the socks and all that other type of stuff. Thanks for joining. I'll see you guys soon.